All right, so how are you managing expectations with sellers who might be worried about the impact on their net proceeds due to changes in commission on concessions? Where do you start with Lindsay? I mean, I think we kind of already talked yeah. about it a little bit, but it's just, you know, the seller wants to know their bottom line. And so, you know, if you have stats about the market and the buyer pool, you know, someone selling a $600,000 house, those buyers are getting FHA, VA, you know, five, 10% down loans. That's, if that's 50% or 80% of the buyer pool for that house, do you want to limit all the first time buyers, all the, the people that, that want to buy your house, you're going to eliminate them more or make it really unaffordable for them to buy your house. My job is to look out for your best interest and get you the biggest net. And based on my experience, and we, we got to incentivize and make it easy for every type of buyer to look at your house. And if we get a cash offer and they want to pay their own agent, that's great, but I'm not going to leave out the people with 5, 10, 20% down that have been working to this goal for years. And now the only barrier of them getting in the home is coming up with an extra X percent. I go, let's open the pool. I get everybody in the doors. At the end of the day, my job is to get you as many offers as possible. And then we'll do a spreadsheet and you get to pick who buys your home. But, you know, put yourself in these buyer's shoes. Did you get a loan when you bought this house? Okay. You, you know, and, and really just walk them through that. They've always paid this whether the buyer pays it, whether the seller pays it, the net is always going to end up being about the same. So let me do my job and get the word out and get as many people in the door as possible.